Welcome to the Mantis Bible Study 4.3 video series. This is the Build Your Own Study Bible video showing off a new feature that uh, we're very proud of and that is uh, the ability to create your own study Bible for use with uh, Mantis Bible Study. Uh, you'll notice here that we're uh, using the NIV as our primary Bible so we're reading the NIV text uh, but let's go ahead and uh, study using the study Bible that we've built then we'll change the study Bible around a little bit to uh, customize it. Um, as before with other versions of Mantis Bible Study, you tap on a verse to analyze it. And so we're going to go ahead and tap it. But instead of bringing a giant menu up with options, uh, it brings up a menu inline here where we can tap to bookmark this verse. Uh, we can tap to analyze this verse, and that goes to the old Analyze Verse screen. Uh, we can add a note, or we can email this verse uh, to somebody, just like we could in prior versions. You'll also notice, notice here, though, that we have a bunch of links uh, that have shown up in line. These are links to uh, Bible translations, the Complete Word Study Bible, the English Standard Version, the King James, the Message, and the New King James. And we have some commentaries loaded. Uh, the uh, Believer's Bible Commentary, the InterVarsity Press, John Corson, John MacArthur, J. Vernon McGee, the Ryrie Study Bible Notes, and the Treasury of Scriptural Knowledge. Um, all these resources are sold separately, um, so if uh, you try this and you only see uh, one version of the King James here, uh, that's because you don't have any other resources installed. Um, it's very simple. If you've used Mantis Bible Study before, you'll notice that uh, you tap on a link and that brings up the text for the ESV. So now we have here's the NIV text and here's the ESV text. If I tap that same link, that uh, text goes away. So if I want to view uh, what the message has to say on this verse, I can just tap message. Uh, if I want to see the message and the New King James together, uh, and the NIV all on one screen. Here's the message, here's the New King James, and here's the default NIV. And again, I can tap these to close them at any time. You can also tap uh, the verse number again to close this and get back to your original screen. So basically tapping anything opens it, tapping again closes it. Pretty simple. Um, one of the really neat things in uh, this version, uh, the Build Your Own Study Bible version, is the ability to get at the uh, Complete Word Study Bible or the New American Standard with Strong's or any of our Strong's-based editions without having to read it as your primary Bible. So let's say I'm reading and I want to look at this word truth. Now I can't click on truth. Whoops, I clicked MacArthur. I can't click on truth because uh, there aren't Strong's numbers in the NIV version of the Bible that I'm reading. Luckily, we do have those in the uh, Complete Word Study Bible. So if I just open up the Complete Word Study Bible options here, I can uh, look for the word truth, and I can tap on the word truth and get its uh, uh, Greek meaning, its uh, um, Strong's definition here. I also happen to have the optional Thayer's Greek definitions and the Strong's cross-reference install. Those two are sold separately, but I can drill down and view those and pretty much do anything I can do in the complete word study Bible, but without having to switch to that version. I can just bring it up just for this verse, which is kind of cool. I can also see, you know, where this verse truth is used throughout the Bible. You know, go preview the verses in Galatians. Uh, pretty neat stuff. Anyway, I'm going to close that and uh, also show you down below here. These are the commentaries that I have loaded right now. Um, let's say I want to read uh, the Believer's Bible commentary on uh, this verse. I just tap it and that commentary shows up right in line, right in the text. So here's my text, here's the commentary on the text. And I can tap it again to close it. Let's say I want to read the InterVarsity Press entry. Now this is interesting, the InterVarsity Press doesn't happen to have an entry on Romans 2.2, but it does have one on Romans 2.1. So I can tap that and it shows you that this is actually an entry for Romans 2.1 through 11. And so that covers this um, indirectly, it's part of a larger section. But I can go ahead and read any of the commentaries. The uh, Treasury of Scripture Knowledge is especially useful. Look at all these cross-references that I have for the word judgment. And so I can go off and look at the verse in Isaiah that deals with judgment. Um, I can tap that one. I can look at uh, verses in Revelation that, that uh, deal with judgments. Very, very handy for cross-references. So basically by adding the, uh, the Treasury of Scripture Knowledge, uh, uh, to my uh, Mantis study Bible here, I can use the Treasury of Scripture Knowledge in any version of the Bible, which is very cool. 
Um, now let's say that uh, you don't necessarily want to see all these translations and all these different commentaries every time. It's cluttering up the screen a little bit. Um, you can adjust uh, your study Bible to only show what, what you want it to show. For example, like we would want to show the King James Version and the Complete Word Study Bible because this text is the same. So that doesn't make a lot of sense. So let's go ahead and, uh, and set up our study Bible. I'm going to click Tools and then Options. You'll see a new option called Build Your Own Study Bible. And if we tap this, we're going to see that here, here are all the Bible versions I have installed. And let's go ahead and close, uh, close them all except for, let's say, the message. Uh, well, the NIV is, is our primary Bible, so that, that doesn't matter. Um, and so let's only show the message and the complete Word Study Bible. When I hit Done, and Done again, next time I do this, we're only showing the complete Word Study Bible and the message. Let's go ahead and close off some of those uh, commentary links. So I'm going to go Options, Build Your Own Study Bible, and let's say I only want to see the IVP and John MacArthur. Oh, and the, I love the Treasure of Scriptural Knowledge. Let's keep that in there, too. So I click Done. And now my study Bible shows just those two Bible translations and thus just those three commentaries. You'll also notice there were a couple of options in there that we didn't change, but you can choose to have your Bible links at the beginning of the uh, verse text, that's the default, or after. And then we have the uh, commentary links by default after the verse text, which splits them up pretty nicely. But you could place them both at the beginning, both at the end, or you can change them around however you, you like that to appear. Uh, that's the uh, Build Your Own Study Bible features. I hope you really enjoy studying the Bible with uh, this new feature. This has uh, been the Mantis Bible Study 4.3 video series.